Sonar X3 Studio and Producer contains a suite of 19 Bluetube Studio effects. Seven of them are effects processors used for modulation, reverb, echo, distortion, and stereo imaging. Let's take a look at these seven effects. The first Bluetube's effect we're going to look at is the dual analog, Chorus CH2S. Chorus is a time-based effect that splits the audio signal in two parts. One part is unaffected, and the other is delayed anywhere from 20 milliseconds to 50 milliseconds, and then its pitch is modulated by a low-frequency oscillator. Within the dual analog chorus effect, there are three different parts. The section in the top half of the plugin is a basic two-band EQ for the audio signal once it passes through the chorus and panning effects. These are simple EQs that simply boost or cut their respective frequency ranges. Second, chorus unit A and B. Both units have independent LFO parameters, delay, HPF, LPF, and pan options. Having two independent chorus makes the dual analog chorus very versatile when working with stereo tracks. Lastly, the panner. The panner is controlled by its own LFO and moves the stereo image of the plug-in from left to right. Both chorus units and the panner have individual sync buttons to link to Sonar's tempo. Next comes the dual analog phaser APH2S. This unit splits the signal into two parts and then combines them again after the audio passes through the unit. When the audio passes through the unit, the signal is flipped out of phase and then an LFO controlled notch filter sweeps through the signal's frequency spectrum. The included LFO has square, sine, triangle, and sawtooth options. This phaser has four different stages of filtering as well as separate resonance and width options that help increase the phasing effect. Lastly, the master section contains a mix, color, and output section. The mix parameter allows one to blend the affected signal into the original signal. Nomad Factory's Delay 3D model, DL3D, is a powerful and effective plug-in. Delay units add repetitions to your audio signal and have become a staple in history for audio effects. The delay offers the use of three simultaneous delay units. Each delay unit can be synced to your DAW's host temple with multiple types of note durations. For even more flexibility, each delay unit has independent pan settings so that the user can customize each delay to the left, right, or center of the stereo image. There is a mix knob to the left of the three units ranging from dry to wet for blending options. Moving on, the feedback knob adjusts the amount of repetitions for all three delay units. Underneath feedback, there is an output knob for the plug-in in case you need to increase the output gain of your signal. Lastly, the model DL3D has two filters for further shaping. Next up is the Oil Can Echo TLE-2S. This unique device emulates the sounds of a tapeless oil can echo delay. At first glance, you will notice four different years along the top of the plug-in. These are different algorithms for the types of slap, delay, and echo effects in the plug-in. Directly to the left of the ear selector, there is a sustain adjustment for the overall feedback of the currently selected effect. To the right, this plug-in offers a dry-to-wet knob, making blending very easy. Next, the echo delay adjustment is an incremental knob from left to right and works directly with the three different types of effects that are offered in this plugin. When adjusting the echo delay knob, the slap, delay, and echo effects gradually introduce longer and more separate repetitions with each effect as you cycle through them. Scroll to the right of the plugin and you will see a knob labeled Flutter. Flutters controls the amount of vibrato that is present in the repetitions of each effect. Next, we have the Analog Valve Driver ADR-2S. This effect is an overdrive effect with eight different types of tube amp saturation settings called the grungeizer. Underneath this section, there is a variable adjustment for the amount of drive. After that, this plug-in offers two filter adjustments and a noise gate for quickly removing unwanted noise floor from your tracks. The Stereo Imager Model ST-2S is a spectrum effect Passing a stereo track through this effect will allow you to adjust its width in the stereo field. Moving the slider in the center of the plug-in all the way to the left will mono out the signal, and moving it all the way to the right will widen the stereo image more so than your DAW could ever allow. Lastly, Blue Verb DRV2080 is Nomad Factory's producer-exclusive reverb unit. The top half of Blue Verb gives you seven options for dialing in the perfect reverb. These options are pre-del day, ambiance, amount, decay, damping, tail lever, and stereo width. 
With these parameters, you have many different options for designing a proper reverberant space for any instrument in your mix. Blueverb includes two shelving EQs, so that you have the option to sculpt the low and the high end of your reverb once you have it set. Lastly, the master contains an input, output, and mix knob to help you get all of your levels under control.